So I literally just saw this like at time of recording, like this was posted like pretty soon after I finished recording that video. Um, Rose from the Blue Sky team said to grow sustainably, we're working on a subscription model. Better than anything I suggested. Full stop. So, and they are, so the biggest costs are team and infrastructure. Um, paid subscribers won't be get special treatment anywhere else in the app. Uh, upranking premium accounts or um, blue checks next to their names. We won't sell your data and we won't hyper-financialize the social experience. Um, they're thinking like things like new colors, avatar frames, higher quality video uploads, and better profile customizations. This is better than anything I thought about in this video. I love this. This is great. And hell, God forbid, once I get into a better financial situation, I will pay for a subscription like to be supportive of that. So, so on with the video. Um, enjoy. Um, I, I, I talk about some things that I, I think are pretty interesting, but just wanted to say certain parts of this video, a lot of parts are going to be invalidated by this statement. So just bear that in mind. Hello, everybody. I hope you're well. Today, I want to do a quick and brief little video. As the title probably suggests, I want to talk about Blue Sky. Blue Sky being the brand new up and coming wonderful platform that I personally use when I jumped shit from Twitter mostly about a year ago. Um, so Blue Sky is a platform that uses something called the AT protocol, which is a, a, set, a st ostensibly a tool that turns social media and data and user data into a federalized thing, basically making it so, um, you know, people can build fun little tools and things and have their data be used across different tools and stuff. It's a great thing for developers. It's a great thing. It's, it, it democratizes a lot of, of social media and doesn't really and decentralizes it in a pretty awesome way. And that started with Blue Sky, a Twitter alternative started by Jack Dorsey, and he left because things like the blocking and moderation tools and all of the decentralized nature of it, he wasn't a particular fan of, and he said that like, oh no, people should be able to like say racial slurs to you randomly, like, and, and you shouldn't be able to like block them like with that level of, of entirety, because he's a little bitch, but I digress. Um, now that that long-winded intro is out of the way so you know what we're talking about, I want to talk about monetization. Blue Sky, at present, has no ads. It is like Twitter, like circa 2013-2014, with, without the like political infighting and no ads. It is truly a wonderful environment to be in at present. But the question you we kind of have to ask is hey at what point like you know they just got ser like 15 million dollars in series a funding that was announced on the blue sky account and the thing about that is at what at some point investors are going to want to see some kind of return on investment and one of the things i wonder in this case is where is that going to come from and what is that going to sort of manifest into? So I have a couple of, of you know, concepts and ways that that level of advertisement could go because Blue Sky has talked very candidly about not wanting to, you know, sell user data and things of that nature, a la a duck, duck, go. So that obviously isn't as powerful as an advertisement platform for a company like blue sky so what does that end up looking like so because blue sky in the at protocol allows for so many different developers and, and little fun little project that can be done using simple oauth and, and, and user data like spread across making it easy for people to authenticate and things of that nature um there are a handful of ways they can do, but let's just start with Blue Sky. So you they can obviously do the very simple thing of just having ads, you know, pop up as posts. Bless you. Now, they can just have these posts be a thing. They can be any whatever. There's no 
It's just, it is purely a, you pay for to, for this amount of people to see it. We will push it to this amount of people. And, you know, whether or not they click on it will depend on the quality of your advertisement. Right? So that is like the one way they could absolutely do it. You know, they could very much say every 30, 40 posts, there's one ad. And then they can guarantee advertisers that people will that like they will push it like that many amount of times that's one way that's probably like the simplest least obtrusive way for them to do it um another option that they could do is they could expound upon that by putting them like allowing um advertisers to advertise on specific hashtags so hashtags are particularly important in blue sky because they are very much how people find new things. You always kind of, if you want like somebody to see your stuff, you do kind of want to get in the habit of adding a hashtag to it so people are able to see that. Uh, another way you could also do it is also have um, advertisers specifically want to put their ads on feeds. Feeds are the second way that many people see. It feeds are aggregators that anybody can set up with technical knowledge or a platform like um, Skyfeed, which will make feeds for you. This is all, you know, very well and good. This is all like like wonderful. This is one way that they could do it. Now, something that I think they could do that would be a little more interesting is, is they, they start to leverage the AT protocol a little bit. And this is where I think that they can actually like do something similar to YouTube where they where developers can actually make money and, and do something interesting. They can make an endpoint. So for those who don't know what an endpoint is, an endpoint is a is a sensibly a um is basically a URL that a application can hit i know it's spelled endpoint wrong i don't care i'm playing Yu -Gi -Oh, i'm illiterate and it allows a uh, application to be able to hit said endpoint and then get and then do something whether that is update data get data whatever and the and the, the at protocol and like all technology kind of uses this in some way shape or form it, it comes in the form of an application hitting the endpoint and then the endpoint sending back some data, usually in the form of something resembling, like usually in the AJSON file, which is just a pre-compiled, you know, set of data. One of the things that they can add is an add endpoint. And one of the things that they can do is with those endpoints, it can have multiple different things such as view count and they can also have um things like uh length especially if it's a video and the reason why i would suggest this is because what this would do is a lot of people who use blue sky certainly only like certainly use blue sky you know to you know on other platforms some people don't even use the main app itself so one of the things that you know that this could possibly do is get devs who maintain and even if it's just a hobby like build fun things with blue sky allow them to pay for their own server space you know, by being able to run or even be selective of the types of ads that they can run on their on the platforms, you know, I think Blue Sky, while it may make less money, will certainly benefit from having a much more restrictive advertiser TOS. And that's, I think, kind of what what might be able to say set apart Blue Sky away from everybody else. See, one of the things about Blue Sky's user base is that they are very conscious and they are very much, you know, caring about, um, you know, consent. Like, the, like, alt text is a huge thing on the site, alt text being the, you know, thing that both feed aggregators as well as people with disabilities can hit and have their phone use, like, their disability mode to actually get an understanding of what they're seeing. 
have putting alt text, especially detailed alt text, on all your photos on Blue Sky is very, very important. There is certainly a culture around people not even looking at somebody's ad if you don't have alt text. So one of the things that, you know, so that is just an example of like how, like just to, I know the term has been certainly, you know, bastardized and I'm using it because I can't spell conscious. Look, in the 2012 iteration of it, when it actually meant something important and liberal and isn't just a fucking, you know, right wing slur. So ultimately, I think that having that Blue Sky could certainly benefit from being much more restrictive with the types of ads available on their platform. You know, I think, you know, people who are going to advertise on Blue Sky are going to be people who, you know, understand the market. They can't just throw up a Target ad and pretend everything is okay. You know, people get frustrated, things of that nature. Like, it's not like that, like, like Target, Walmart, the rest of them, they're not going to have a good time. But you know who might? More independent things. So this, I think I foresee Blue Sky very much making its money and generation from much smaller businesses because that is very much the platform that, like, the people on Blue Sky are more likely to support and like. Ultimately, Blue Sky is a wonderful platform. It is a platform that very much is positive. There is very little negativity, and the negativity that is there is very much not conflict-based per se. The way, like the the community, very much blocks people. Like there's there isn't a you don't engage with toxicity on Blue Sky. You just block people and keep it pushing. That is very much the attitude. That is very much the culture on Blue Sky. So, you know. Advertisers will get blocked. Advertisers will, you know, make not engagement. And ultimately, I think, um, I think ultimately that Blue Sky is how, like, Blue Sky has to be very careful how it threads its advertisement, um, concepts. I think leaning into the AT protocol and even like revenue sharing with developers and things of that nature would be a really good idea and i think it's definitely something that they should consider but i think worst case scenario they're just going to take the duck duck go approach where you as an advertise like they will make sure that like at like the ads are not sparse but like just you know infrequent enough that they aren't it's not like you're getting inundated with shit and um i think ultimately uh, what it's just a you pay for as many people to you pay for the, the impressions like there's going to be no pay for clicks there's going to be no pay for anything like that like they 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 like it like if they are pay for clicks it'll just they will just run your shit until enough people click on the damn thing in them's the breaks and so i am hopeful that Blue Sky is smart with how they decide to go about monetizing their platform, specifically because I want them to stick around. When they do come up with their monetization plans, I hope it is not it does not grate with the culture of of Blue Sky, which is something that they have to thread the needle on very carefully. Thank you so much for watching. I'm gonna send you to pre-recorded Evan now. Hey, thanks for watching. If you want to you want to talk to me outside of this video, outside of live streams, or just be a join the community and be a part of it, you can do so at hivmedia.gg slash Discord. Discord link's there. We'd love to have you. And given the financial situation of the economy right now, I know this is a tall ask, but if you have the scratch to, to spare, please consider donating and becoming a supporter at hivmedia.gg slash tip. All of our perks are serviced through our Discord channel, including early access videos, exclusive videos, and more. Your generosity is a blessing, and a dollar a month is a boon to my bank account. Thank you so very much for watching. I appreciate you, and have a great day.